Hello everyone. In the last class, I taught you about the acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth. And in today's class, we shall learn about the acceleration due to gravity at a point below the surface of the earth. That is, we shall consider a surface beneath our earth which is at the depth d at that particular surface at the depth, depth d what the acceleration due to gravity is. So for this let us consider our earth. Same old story. Our earth which has a mass m okay then we shall consider which has a radius r and which has a center c. So we, shall, we are considering our earth which has a mass m, the radius r and the center c. And we shall consider a surface which is at the depth d beneath our earth. So this is our surface which is at the depth d. This surface will have a different mass. That mass is m dash 2. That mass is m dash 2. So, since this surface is at the depth d, the radius of this inside surface, beneath surface, will be definitely r minus d. So, this the total distance divided by this minus this distance, so that is r minus d. So, and let us consider a point A on the surface of the earth, and let us consider a point P at the depth d. So at this point A, the acceleration due to gravity will be G and at the point B, the acceleration due to gravity will be GD. So I'll explain again. So we are considering our Earth which has a mass M, which has a radius R and which has the center C. So we are considering our, our, our surface beneath our Earth which is at the distance B. Okay, so then this inside surface, this mini surface will have a mass m dash which is exactly different from the mass, original mass. So it is quite lesser than the original mass. So that, so uh, this will be m dash. So this, this, this mini surface is, is at the distance or the depth d. So the radius of this beneath surface is r minus d. So we have to subtract the total distance by this the r by minus d. So we get r minus d here. So now we shall write the acceleration due to gravity at the point A. So acceleration due to gravity at the point A is given by g is equal to g m i r square. Hope you all know this. So this, this can never vary. So let us consider this as equation number 1. So now let us write the acceleration due to gravity at the point B here. So which is at the depth D. So that will be G D is equal to G M dash divided by R minus D whole square. So because this will have a radius r minus t, so gm dash divided by r minus t whole square. Let us call this as equation number 2. So now what we have to do, we shall divide the equation number 2 divided by equation number 1 here. So it will be gd by g is equal to gd is g m dash divided by r minus d whole square divided by g is g m by r square. So what will get cancelled here? So g and g both are same. So these two will get cancelled. So after this we shall write the remaining things here. G D by G is equal to M dash divided by R minus D whole square into so the denominator of the denominator will come to the numerator that is R square 
divide by pi young. So this is mod pi dot here. So I have to simplify this equation now. So we should take I will take the top one general form or one type of one equation or formula. So that is density. We all know this. We all know this equation. So that is density is equal to mass by volume. So mass will be exactly equal to density into volume. So mass will be equal to density into volume. So now we have two different masses here. One is m dash and another one is m m. So we shall write the what m is and what m dash is. So we shall write that way. Right? So our m dash is first we shall write for m here. What is m here? M represents the mass of the earth, which is of radius r. Mass of
divided by the value of m is rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, we shall now simplify this equation. So, the rho and rho will get cancelled. 4 by 3, 4 by 3 will get cancelled. Pi and pi will get cancelled. R minus B whole square. And we have R minus 2 to the power of 3. So, square will get cancelled. So, we will collect the term as R minus B only. And even here, R squared and R cube is here. So, square will cancel out and one R will be present here. So, after cancelling out everything, we shall write the left out terms here. So, G, D by G is equal to R minus D by R. So, only these things that are left here. So, now what we do? So, we shall split the terms here. G, D by G is equal to R divided by R minus D by R. So, R, R that get cancel out. G, D by G is equal to 1 minus D by R. So, now G, D is equal to G into 1 minus D by R. So, this is the expression for acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity at a point below the surface of the earth. So, this is what we got. G, D is equal to G into 1 minus D by R. So, I will explain from the beginning once again. So, let us consider our earth which has a radius, which has a radius R, which has a mass M, which has a center C. So, we are considering a surface beneath the surface of the earth, that is, which is of the depth D, and that surface will have a mass M dash, and that but, and since it is at the depth D, so the radius of that surface will be R minus D, let A be the point on the surface of the earth, let B be the point on the depth D here. So, let and the, we shall write in the acceleration into gravity at the point A, that is G is equal to Gm by R square. Now, we are writing for at the acceleration into gravity for the point B, that is Gm, G, Gd is equal to Gm dash divided by R minus D whole square, since we are writing for the inner sphere here. So, that is R minus D that it is there. So, we are dividing the equation 2 divided by equation 1. So, which gives this. So, only G and G will get cancelled out and remaining terms will remain same. So, <coughs> what we do here is we just rearrange the terms here. That is what I have done here. So, after getting this equation, what I have done is I have taken use of one more equation that is density is equal to mass by volume is the formula of the equation. So, the mass is equal to density into volume. So, mass of earth of radius r is equal to density into volume of sphere of radius r. So, we all know that the earth is in the shape of a geoid. It is of geoid shape, but we are considering the earth to be a perfect sphere here. So, for that reason itself, I have taken the volume of sphere of radius r. So, that is mass of the earth of radius r is m is equal to rho into 4 by 3 volume is, for volume of a sphere is 4 by, 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, this is for the radius r. So, only r will be there here. So, next we are writing for m dash here. So, mass of the earth of radius r minus d is equal to density into volume of the sphere of radius r minus d. So, the mass of earth of radius r minus d is the mass m dash because we are ready for the inner sphere. Inner sphere's radius is r minus d here. So, for that reason itself, we are writing m dash here. That is, m dash is equal to rho into. So, volume of sphere of radius r minus d. So, in the place of r, we have to write r minus d here. So, rho into 4 by 3 pi r minus d whole cube here. So, I have got the value of m and m dash here. After getting these two values, I have substituted these 
these two values in our equation here. So on substituting that equation, I get this thing. So I cancel out each and everything here. So after cancelling out, the remaining things that are left here is R minus V and R is left out. So I have to come like this. So in the next step, I have split them. So R and R will get cancelled out. So 1 minus V by R will be left out here. So G V is equal to G into G into 1 minus D by R here. So we are we can calculate the acceleration due to gravity at uh, any given depth here by using this equation. So we all know that so the acceleration due to gravity of the earth is uh, 9.8 9.8 meter per second square. So by substituting the acceleration due to gravity of the earth on the radius of the earth is also given. So it's we all know that the the radius of the earth is around 6400 kilometers. So we can calculate the depth if the the acceleration due to the gravity because of the depth is given. If not, we can calculate the acceleration due to the gravity because of the depth also. If all these data are given, we can calculate this thing or if any one of the data is not given, we can also calculate this thing by using this equation. So this is equation is very useful for problems. The acceleration due to gravity decreases as the depth increases. I am repeating again. The acceleration due to gravity decreases as the depth increases. So I will give an example for that. So let us consider the depth to be r. So that is r is the radius of the earth. We are taking the depth is exactly equal to the radius r. So we shall substitute this onto our equation. So the equation will become g v is equal to g to 1 minus in the place of b I have to write r here. So r by r. So r r will get cancelled out. g v will be equal to g to so 1 minus so 1 will be here 1 minus 1 is 0. So anything multiplied by 0 is so g v itself. So what this says is the acceleration due to gravity at the center of the earth is zero because at the center of the earth the radius will be r. So the radius is r. So if we take this point then the depth will be also equal to d here. So d will be equal to r. So at this particular point, at the center of the earth, the acceleration due to gravity will be 0.